Good morning, lads and lassies. Here with the boy, Christian Pacheco, founder of Caravan Fabrics. <laughs> We're headed off to Chicago. Gonna meet with the homie Frody. Supposedly the actual Chicago Fire Team is gonna be practicing in a public place. So we're gonna go watch. And uh, if they let me jump in, I'll jump in. But um... So apparently Frody tells us that there's a practice today. We're gonna go watch the Chicago Fire play and everything. <laughs> and then he tells us that it's tomorrow. Come on, Frody. Yeah. Get your dates right, man. Yeah, Get your dates flying. right. A little background information. These two guys went to college with me. Unfortunately, played soccer with them, lived with them. These were my uh, my roommates in college when I was young, when I was a young lad. Like Alright boys, what's the plan? Walk. <laughs> walk until you can't walk. Hey, when's the uh, training session though? What time does it start? <laughs> what time does the training session start? <laughs> of course, we're in the city, Chicago. But um, as usual, no idea where we're going, no idea what we're doing. Just walking around like idiots. That's how it usually is when I hang out with these two. Chris, you get the shot, mate. Did you get the shot? I might need you to walk past. You need me to walk past? All right, all right hold on, we gotta get the shot right here. Where? Did we get the shot? It. Did we get the shot? Banged it. Bro, you guide us. You're the one. He lives in Chicago. He lives here in the city. He lives in Rockford, unfortunately. And he is a Man U fan. You're not even a Man U fan. I'm not. I'm a Barcelona fan, by the way. What kind of person does that? What kind of human being this is, actually, is a different supports a different team? This is actually my father's jersey. And he doesn't even he doesn't even have a number. Last name. No number. I'm here with Coach Frody, and uh, Frody is a world-class, internationally known coach. He's coached the Prince of Peace Fighting Irish to a playoff match in which they lost against Dyersville Beck, Dyersville, Dyersville Beckman, number one in the state. Number one in the state. He lost, but it was a close game. He parked the bus. I think he parked the bus. Frody. Did you park the bus that game? Yes, we did. And how did it go for you? It did not end well. <laughs> uh, Final score? It was a close game, very close game, 5-0. <laughs> but there was a mental win there, you know? My players came out knowing that regardless of the result, we're champions in our hearts, you know? And I think that's what matters. The uh, Vegas odds for that match were, uh, <laughs> were Beckman winning 6-0, and they only managed to lose 5-0, so people lost a lot of money on that match. Mr. Pacheco, CEO, okay. CEO <laughs> and owner and founder of Caravan Fabrics. Another shameless plug. Christian Pacheco, can you tell us a little bit about your coaching background, please? My coaching background? I actually started with Coach Javi. I was assistant coach. He was my U15, right? Assistant U15. coach. U15's boy soccer club out in Iowa. How'd that go? Pretty well. We got some, you know, we're fourth place in the state, so, mm -hmm. you know, take pride in that. We lost in the semifinal of the state championship. <laughs> what did yeah. we lose? 2 0? 2 0. We parked the bus though. We, we and it almost paid off for us. I have a question for Coach Checo. Well, Actually, was, during half times, what was your focus? What was, the, what was your game plan? What was the discussion that you gave out to your players? Yeah, I believe strongly in communication. So, my biggest fact. <laughs> <laughs> we're at, <laughs> we're at halftime of one of our matches. He's my assistant coach. We're at halftime and we're talking to the players. Communication. And I'm like, so I give out my whole tactical talk, you know, and he and I'm like, Coach, Coach Christian, do you have any uh, 
<laughs> Do you have any comments? And he says, yeah, I think uh, we need to uh, communicate a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you gotta make it sound And that was every single halftime speech. <laughs> Is we needed to communicate more. Great tactics. Hey, it's true though. Then guess why we lost the semifinal? Because they didn't communicate. <laughs> Keep it BG. It That's what happens when you grow up in Southside Chicago your whole life. Turn over to the dark side. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, what a nice guy, huh? <laughs> There's that classic Instagrammer angle. I right, cause you see a tall building that looks like that, you just shoot it. Troy's not impressed. Troy already took the shot before he even. It's a building, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there, it ain't going anywhere. He thinks he's cool because he owns a company, he owns a clothing company, and all of a sudden no. he thinks he's cool and everything. I think I'm cool because I'm actually rocking a jersey without a number. Okay. <laughs> no number! Where's the number? What are those? Oh, those are actually kind of nice, huh? They are. Hello, sister-in-law. How's it going? How are you? Good. Where's Boozer? Is he back yet? Uh, I don't know. I think he's up there. What up, Boozer? I think we're gonna go bowling, right? We're gonna go bowling. Yeah. Gonna do a little bit of bowling, mate. <laughs> Mollejas. How is your bowling, by the way? Uh, it's good. Kind of, I'm okay. trying a little bit. He's already in the vlogging mood. How's your uh, How's your bowling? Uh, I mean, uh, what's your uh, I What's your mean, average? Do a mean hurricane twist those. <laughs> Yeah. With the bumpers. With, With the, the bumpers. bumpers? He says he's gonna sue me for copyright because I have him in the vlog now. Oh, yeah, he, didn't, I, he didn't sign a release. No. He wants 20%. <laughs> he didn't sign a release. Yeah, man, he's heavy. 20%, right? Like that? 20%? Like that. You know, he's gonna get 20%. I want 30%. Of <laughs> oh, now you want percentage? <laughs> There he is. He cheated, but he won. Watch, I didn't cheat. I missed like yeah, three You're shots. To curve it like us, man. Yeah, he was supposed to try and do cool things with the ball, and he didn't. <laughs> so that counts I, as I cheating. If you guys don't hear from me in a while, it's because I'm in the bowling lanes, practicing to be the next greatest bowler in the world. <laughs> that ends our vlog for tonight. A lot less soccer-related than usual. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.